Hi, my name is April Nicole, and welcome to Sister Tarot. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to do the reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, you know, anything like that. All right, um, I'm trying to get all this stuff out. Um, if you want a personal reading, feel free to book me. My cell phone number is 702-969-5427, and I do readings um, on the phone. Um, I do do email readings, but I don't really like them. Not my thing, but just hit me up. Okay, so um, Sagittarius, I kept hearing um, David Banner. I don't know what this has to do with your reading, but it's like, A me. I think it's A my nigga. Why are you calling yourself that? You're supposed to be a god. I, I, it's, it's been in my head because I was trying to put Sagittarius reading together and I've been trying to channel for y'all. And I just keep hearing, A my nigga. Why are you calling yourself that? Hey, my nigga. You're supposed to be a god like that. I don't know. I like that song, but I just heard it. Okay, so as I was also pre-shuffling, these two cards came out. The Page of Pentacles could be a job, and this could be a hermit. So you guys could be going to school, could be studying. Um, some of y'all, maybe you're going to take some summer classes, or you could be going to school to brush up on some extra skills. Could be a trade. Like, case in point, I just did my nails. I was supposed to do this video an hour ago, but um, my trade is nails. Like, I actually did this full set. I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's still fresh because I haven't really filed it like that. So, I did my own nails. This nail, I got to pop off. But I did this, my own nails. I did stiletto tips. I'm about to color them, probably the color of this. I like pink and gold. So, um, <laughs> that's my trade. You know, this is, I can apply this to myself because I am the hermit in a way. I teach people, like, with spiritual stuff. And um, um, you could be encountering a young Virgo or someone with Virgo rising, Virgo um, north node. Um, the page of pentacles, you could be teaching children. Um, you could be into your beauty or being very stylish, very practical. You could be getting some very good news money-wise, financially, from an elder. Could be a Virgo. Um, you could be getting some, um, I think that you guys could be into spirituality. Maybe you guys are unconventional. Um, you guys with the hermit card, just looking for answers. I mean, this is the kind of time of day where, I mean, I could see why you're looking for answers. Um, it says here that you're definitely looking for some type of, um, key to the mystery. Everybody is kind of religious, but with the hermit, you're kind of non-conformative. Non like, you kind of just meet, march to your own beat of your own drum. Um, but with the hermit, I feel like you are studying. So let's see why you got those cards, Sagittarius. What is the hermit for Sag? Could be a love interest. Three of Wands, someone at a distance. Um, this person, you may not know this person with the hermit. This person could be someone that you've never met. Um, this person, this could be an accolade or an achievement. You could be online being a hermit. Like I do stuff online, but the three of wands, the sun and Aries, you may be dealing with an Aries, but the, uh, it seems as if you are reaching out, branding yourself, going places. Maybe you're in a third party relationship or you're working together in a group. But the hermit, maybe you are, um, I get that you could be a, yeah, I get a major accomplishments for you. What is the page of pentacles? What is the page of pentacles for Sagittarius in June? Ace of pentacles. Ooh. Okay, so with, with school, make sure you don't spend all your money on school. Some of y'all don't know what the fuck y'all going for. Um, something may not turn out the way you planned, or you may be broke, financially destitute, not able to pay for school. Um, that could be financially sad. Maybe you really wanted to get some type of accolade. Um, let's see. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put Hermit up above here. We're going to see what is the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, or Ace of Pentacles. Damn, all these cards came out. Hold on, Spirit. We can't take all these. What is the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace um, Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Page of Pentacles for Sagittarius? Okay, so Five of Pentacles can be homelessness, um, depravity. Someone feeling like they're left out in the cold. 
um, maybe your job isn't paying you as much. You feel like you're poverty stricken or you're homeless. You're losing money. The magician is kind of like um, creating something out of nothing. Um, the energy of um, knowing what's already there and tapping into it. There could be some complications with that way you manifest things in June, Sagittarius. Um, with the cherry reverse, something could be like stuck. Maybe you feel as if you can't manifest. And with the magician, like maybe you're a magician. If you guys are working like, um, if you're in a creational stuff, like you're in like investing, inventing, or like if you're a builder or a mason or carpentry, you might not be able to really build anything or you could be a magician and like an intuitive and you can't manifest anything right now. You may be put on a block. Um, you might be moving also, the queen of wands, you could be moving or your ideas could be blocked. So some of y'all have a blocked idea or you have writer's block. What is the um, hermit and the three of wands? That would be the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, on the other hand, some of you guys could be hearing from someone from a distance. Um, it could be a loner or someone that's a lonely person. It could very well be an earth sign because the earth sign man is here. The King of Pentacles, but the Seven of Pentacles is like, you don't really trust this motherfucker or they not they don't really trust you. You are, you are anxious about this person. This person could be anxious about you. Um, what is the Seven of Pentacles? for um, Sagittarius in regards to this King of Pentacles. What is the Seven of Pentacles? Okay, so stop me. The title card. Yeah, it's some type of paperwork. It's, it's something unofficial. Maybe, yeah, I see someone walking away from it. They don't want to be bothered. Two of Wands. Yeah, someone is going to walk away from this paperwork. So maybe you are getting a divorce. Um, maybe you've decided that a relationship is not going to turn out the way you've hoped and you abandon it. Or this person could be abandoning you. You could be getting a divorce. Um, some And some of you guys could be left out in the cold. Maybe you feel like something didn't turn out the way you hoped. Someone could be choosing between two options. You could be choosing between a, a air sign or a Gemini person, Gemini uh, Taurus person, a younger person. that has a lot of ideas. They charge into your life and cause division and conflict. Um, you could be dealing with an older Taurus Aries. Um, this person could be flying or traveling. They don't make a lot of money or they don't, they're financially broke. You could be married to this person. You could be leaving this person as a decision, Sagittarius. Okay. All right. That was the pre-shuffle. Okay, so I want to use my new deck. I got this deck a couple days ago. I saw it on um, Ghetto Nuns and I thought it was cool. I actually bought all of them. And I bought this Psalms deck. Because I thought it was cool, too. I just happened to see it. And I do psalms as my petition work. So I thought this was pretty cool. So I borrowed a deck from a really good tarot reader. And I kind of got my own. So not biting anyone. I just thought her her deck was really cool. And I always give homage to psychics that were before me. So um, shout out to her for the idea. All right. So let me go and shuffle. Um, I want to see how Sagittarius is feeling. And I want to get their lover too. Come on. Sagittarius, how are you feeling this month? For June, Sagittarius. How do you feel? Bob Marley. A small axe can fell the tallest tree. So the smallest insignificant touch, all you need is one applicable touch in a situation and anything could just transpire. The fruits of Babylon are rotten to the core. Um, some of you guys could be very emotionally upset about the riots. Or you're feeling as if this world is really suffering or, or going through some very traumatic things. And everything that is holy um, is among us on earth. Um, you could be talking about people or you could be going to church, being really religious. Um, maybe you're coming together as a congregation with people. Um, but I do see here like the fruits. Maybe you feel like your fruits are rotten or you feel like you've invested in bad like crop. All right, let's see. How are you viewing your spouse or your boyfriend or girlfriend? Sagittarius, how are you viewing your spouse, your boyfriend, or your girlfriend? Okay. Kurt Cobain. We're in this mess together, so we might as well make some noise. You seem like you're having some um, conflictual stuff going on in your relationship. If you are with someone, 
Um, it seems like you guys have made a mess of things. Things are not going as quite as planned. Um, it says like might as well go out with a bang. I mean, it's gonna end anyway, so you feel like you might as well just go ahead and do whatever. Don't become your own tribute band. Um, I guess like tribute bands are kind of like dedications. Hmm. Don't be your own tribute band. I'm thinking about that. Yeah, I definitely feel like don't don't beep your own horn, maybe. I'm gonna read on that. What's a tribute band? What do they mean by the spouse? Oh shit. Oh, eight of swords. Oh shit. Feeling trapped. Five of cups came out too. Feeling trapped. Feeling stuck, isolated. Feeling hung by a jury or being criticized. Feeling like you have no power. So I guess in regards to don't be your own tribute band is I would say don't beep your own horn. Um, it says you can't buy teen spirit. You have to either be or don't be. That's why I take it. I feel I definitely want to get another card on that, but I definitely see like someone could be really by the, the energy of this card. Somebody could be very depressed, blues, sad. Yeah, I just feel like someone is very. Can somebody be a water sign? Maybe you're dealing with a water sign. This person is very depressed. Like, they have a lot of calamity around them. Someone could be in jail. But I definitely feel like um, someone could be messing in jail for messing with kids. I hope not. Let's see. What else can we get? How do you feel about your mate? Let's get another one. That's, some, that's maybe for a water sign. How do you feel about your mate? How do you feel about your mate, Sagittarius? Okay, that one kind of stuck out. Tina Turner. Yeah, this is a lot of abusive energy, like toxicity. It's not it's not what happens that matters. It's how you deal with it. Hell yeah. Like, a lot of shit coming at your way is how you deal with it. I tell my clients that all the time. And I feel like a lot of bad things can happen to you. But it's really kind of how you choose to fuck with it. Like, are you going to get upset, mad, irritated? It's kind of like, what do you do moving forward? Uh, purge your life or whatever brings you down. Throw away all that fucking goofy ass shit. Like, yeah, throw that shit away. Um, yeah, throw that. Just take away all this shit that just makes you feel depressed, angry, sad, emotionally unfulfilled, and just chuck it. The most beautiful lotus blooms in the deepest mud. Yeah, it seems as if in order for you to blossom, or you, some of you guys come from hard knocks, or some of you guys come from very fucked up situations. But it seems like no matter where you are, you will blossom when it's time. I do get that. Um, how does your cross watcher see you, Sagittarius? Oh, man. Two cards came out Nina Simone and Amy Winehouse. But Amy Winehouse was reversed, though. Learn how to love your truant heart. Someone maybe is not learning how to love. Their, their trauma or they don't have any trauma. Honeymoon should last a lifetime. Maybe someone's marriage should not last a lifetime. And treat your scars like a best teacher. Someone is not using their, their lessons to help them go forward. So um, I usually call this my crazy card, but no one, this person ain't crazy. Um, never trust cures from the system that made you sick. So someone feels as if like you are fucking them over or mentally poisoning them. Um, they don't trust you. They feel like you could be deceptive. When love is no longer on the menu, don't eat. Someone is rejecting you. Maybe they feel like you're not giving them any love and attention so they just don't want anything from you. And there's nothing more beautiful than speaking your truth. Maybe they, that's what someone is really telling you. Like they feel like you're not loving, caring. Um, you're not emotionally centered to be there for them and they don't want to be bothered so you could be getting broken up with all right that's enough of that let's go into our Leonard men what's going on with Sagittarius for June okay the letter so certifications mail so what we got why does Sagittarius have the letter you could be getting written to somebody could be hitting you up DMs 
to make a bitch. What's the letter for Sagittarius for June? Ooh, okay. The snake. Ooh. Snake and the stork. Hmm. Is someone trying to get like, I get that someone's trying to start something, a new business, right? But there could be some snags. But the snake is reversed, so maybe there isn't as many snags as you think it is. Someone could also be sending you a letter, and the letter is bullshit. If you got the letter and the snake, it's about a fake opportunity, a fake work opportunity, a fake document, forgery. Someone could be forging, forging your name. Someone could be literally pretending to be you. Someone could be pretending to be pregnant. Uh, what is the letter and the snake? I guess it's someone trying to make fake work documents. The anchor. Okay, so the anchor can be stability, mobility, the man. Could be a man. Um, hmm. The clovers and the lilies came up above him, and then the bouquet and the and the heart. Okay, that's what I'm gonna take because it kind of stuck out. Um, there's a man. He's coming. It could be someone that you already have a relationship with. This person is they they've been here for a while. They could be the snake. This man is a snake. He could be a burden or or an, a hard to deal with. This person comes with some type of blessing, maybe a generational blessing. Or they could, um, they could just be, because it says luck and success and harmony and elders. Yeah, someone could be getting a blessing, some type of peace or harmony, experience, some type of reward. Someone's getting something from a family member. This could be like a symbol of love or a gift. This could also be um, a relationship. Is someone trying to get an opportunity off of a relationship? It seems like someone doesn't love you. They don't really care about you. The nine is like a, a helpful, someone helping. Someone isn't helping. Someone isn't genuine, genuinely interested in you. The lily is like they're related to you, but they don't really love you. They don't really care about you. This person, you could be married to someone or dating someone that just wants you for your money, really. Um, anything else? Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Oh, shit. Okay, the star. Some of you guys are going to be going to the public eye. The mountain. It's been hard as fuck trying to get over that fucking hurdle. Yeah, I keep getting the snake in the document. Something is wrong here. The gentleman. Yeah. The store. Somebody is going to come out with a pregnancy. This man here has a baby. There is a baby here. Someone is trying to start a new beginning and they're trying to get you to sign a contract to keep you from being a celebrity or a star. Someone could be literally coming in and they don't mean you any good. What is the snake and the gentleman? What is the snake and the gentleman for Sagittarius? Okay. The bear. Yeah, it's some type of opportunity. The key. It's not risk reversed. The lady. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, it's like there's a someone is trying to give someone some type of stable money, but it the key is reversed. It just gives me a feeling like there's no real answer of where it comes from. It could come from you may think you're getting money from a man, but it's really from a woman. Let's see. I'm gonna get some more information on the man, the gentleman and the snake. What is the gentleman and the snake? Someone could be giving money to a woman. Yeah, it keeps saying that. There's a woman here. It will not stop talking about it. There is a woman here who'll be pregnant or big. There's some type of knowing or doorway or a threshold. Something is closed. Something is not knowledgeable. It's about this woman here. Why is this lady in this key reverse? Hold on. The man and the mice. Someone has an issue. Could be problems. The moon. Could be a secret or a secret pregnancy. The house, yeah, it could be someone. Some of y'all might actually find out that someone is writing someone a letter to let them know that they've had a baby. And that could be very traumatic. Very, very hurtful to this person. Um, what else is going on for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Okay, Stork, I keep getting the same card, y'all. Gentlemen, yeah, it could be a new man, an upgrade. So for others of you, Somebody could be pregnant or someone's getting an upgrade. What is the stork in the gentleman? Uh-oh. Yeah, stars and mountain. This is the same energy, y'all. And sickle. 
Someone is telling you to cut this man off. Yeah, this man doesn't love you and he's a hoe. But this person is a burden to your success. Why is this, why is this mountain here? Yeah, someone, you gotta cut them off. Someone is very negative. The writer, yeah, I just keep getting there. Ho, what's the mountain? Someone will leave you high and dry. The lady. Yeah, this, okay, so there could be, this woman could be a burden to this man. It could go either way. If you're a Sagittarius man, this woman that you're with is a mountain. She is either a aggressor or burden. Someone that stops someone. Uh, uh, they could be very shrewd. Or What's the woman in the mountain? Someone could be getting an abortion. The house and the, the gentleman. Yeah. Okay, so the lady is the house and the gentleman. Hmm. You could live with this lady and she could be very, she could be a celebrity, but she's a bitch. Or she could be very stern. Um, there's a lady here that has an issue. She could have a new baby, but she's getting an abortion. The sickle and the stork kind of remind me of a woman that's getting cut. She's getting an abortion. This woman could have a barrier to her success. It has to do with a home. There's two men here, so I feel like this lady could have had, got pregnant and don't know who her daddy is baby daddy is okay anything else for Sagittarius from Linderman yeah the Fox uh, secrets all these cards are reversed so I don't want to take them let's see what's going on for Sagittarius Sun rising in North Node for June the fish and a lot of pregnancy cards what is the fish for Sagittarius seen this one too I can't decide what is the fish for Sagittarius okay it shows for me the key okay so some of y'all gonna get abundance the writer is yeah, somebody finna somebody finna come and see your life and they finna be the, the that dead nigga right there they finna unlock open doorways you know open close they finna push you through and this fish is abundance it just basically says like wealth prosperity some type of like financial money coming in Someone is going to be a key person in your life, and they're going to bring in a lot of money. What is the key in the fish? Someone could be um, transing. Oh, shit. The, the um, sickle. Someone has to make an abrupt decision to cut something off. What is the sickle? Make it a quick decision, maybe. Ooh. Okay, so, yeah. The whip and the I, I keep getting is pregnancy. Okay, so someone has sex, right? Someone has a key baby. Like, this baby is karmic or this baby is important or this some type of key situation. Someone is fucking. Someone is arguing or fucking. Could be about some gossip. Someone could be cutting something off because of some gossip. Having to do with this man right here. There could be some money. And you could really be happy. Maybe you're making quick decisions. Let's see. What is the whip? It could be arguments. What is the whip? The sun in the mountain. Okay, so someone is having issues with, with their fame or with their accomplishments. With the sun in the mountain. I get that there could be a snake. So someone is arguing about something in regards to um, sex. It could be someone can get it up. Um with the with the snake and the and the sick uh, the snake and the whip but i kind of feel like someone is in the public eye or they're trying to be very successful and they had to get over a lot of snakes they had to cut off to get there okay the key in the snake we feel like whatever person is trying to fuck you over sagittarius you're gonna find out you're gonna get to the root of it okay so i don't feel bad uh, drain my water from my ice i love ice y'all in Vegas, you gotta have it because, like, it's hot as shit. Okay. Okay. Let's see. What? I saw Sagittarius right there. What advice can you give Sagittarius for June? Okay. Five of Pentacles. Ooh. Destitution. 
feeling left out in the cold. Someone has lost something. Because you've lost your home, Sagittarius. Or you're focusing on everything else other than what's important. The magician. It's like, create. Do you feel like you lost your fire to create? What is the five of pentacles? That's an attitude of destitution. I'm feeling homeless. Yeah, ace of cups. Someone, ace of cups and two of pentacles. Someone has a lot going on. Um, this could be about a baby. Maybe someone is juggling a lot of shit. And they feel like they're alone. Someone could be pregnant. Yeah, queen of cups. Someone is juggling a pregnancy on their own. They don't have anybody. They feel very stressed out. This could be a water sign. I feel bad for her. Um, what is the sun? Reverse. The nine of swords. Someone is worried about a loss. Or they could be worried about... Um, Let's see, Ten of Wands. The justice system could be a Libra. Someone could feel overwhelmed. They could be um, consulting the legal system to get some type of help. The Ten of Swords is rising again. Getting back up. Overcoming the haters. What's Ten of Swords ruin? The Three of Pentacles in the title card. Okay, so someone could be working together with the legal system. Um... Someone doesn't have the right paperwork, if they do. Someone needs paperwork, or their paperwork is not right about this child or this woman. Let's see, what is the uh, magician? Can someone be creating it? What is the magician? The Ace of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, someone can produce the paperwork. Nine of Swords, the Two of Wands. Yeah, I kind of get that someone could be pregnant, but they don't have the paperwork. To prove that it's their that that's the daddy, maybe, or maybe they don't know. Um, the Knight of Swords. Since someone comes in out their lives, there maybe they could be getting opinions about how what how to deal with this because it seems if they have people in their ear, but they're deciding what is the best decision for them. Maybe someone doesn't have the money to get all this shit done. It is public assistance around. Um, what advice should Sagittarius take? this June. Nine of Pentacles. So, yeah, 99. Someone is lonely. This could be coming into new money and this could be a burden afterward, but Nine of Pentacles like someone lives a very nice life financially, but they're unhappy or they're dependent. Their wings are clipped. This could be a gold digger. If you are a gold digger, you're exhausted. Nine of Wands is like cutting something off. So maybe you got cut off. If you're if you are a gold digger, let's see what's going on. Or cutting off gold digging. Or cutting off being dependent financially. There's temperance right here. Healing yourself. Looking at yourself as a, a source of relationship issues could be temperance. Balancing what is good and bad and making what is better. Anything else? The hangman. Swinging from right to left. Assessing your life. Looking at what you have, what you don't have. Or looking at the ugly, the good, and the bad, it's like temperance, and deciding what to throw away, deciding what to keep. This could also be someone that's very holy, taking holy advice, taking the high road. The hangman hey is like the depicting of Jesus Christ being hung. And the reason why, they do nothing. So, in Sagittarius, do nothing. Um, understand why you are going through things. But do nothing if it's not in your control. People are going to come after you and say all kind of crazy shit. But I mean, at the end of the day, you can't really do nothing about it. Right? There could be a tower moment for you. Maybe it's your job. If you were a teacher or a psychic or a spiritual worker, it might end. What is the tower and the hermit? The king of swords. It could be because of a man. The world. Yeah, someone wants to end your work. They want to make you crazy. Or maybe it's not the end of the world. Maybe they're disappointed. Someone tried to end your work and they're disappointed. The, I get the tower moment is for this king of swords. Not really you. Because I do see here that they're going through the tower moment. And they're alone. Someone is a malicious, evil jerk. It could be an unscrupulous lawyer. 
Um, someone could be going through a tower moment and they need to get some type of lawyer. Uh, maybe someone is famous and you could be working with this person. Uh, they could be fucking crazy or disappointed with their lies. That's why they're consulting you. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn. Um, let's see. Let's end it with this. Um, I'll get a love card for each uh, sign. Not sign, but uh, element. So you know how to deal with them. Give me a card for how uh, Sagittarius should deal with any earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, we should deal Sagittarius with Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. How should Sagittarius deal with Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo? Okay, that's a lot of cards. Try to get one. How should Sagittarius deal with Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? Okay, that was the one. Language of love. Okay, how should Sagittarius deal with another Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo? Forgiveness. Okay. How should Sagittarius deal with Aquarius, Libra, Gemini? This one came up. Focus on love. And how should Sagittarius deal with Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, water sign? That one says, the only thing that is real is love. Okay. At the bottom of the deck is be authentic. Always be real. That's Sagittarius' main mode. Okay. For Earth signs. It says to speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives. So speak love and care into an earth sign this month. Um, they may be actually going through some things. 35 is a number for this card. So um, you could be talking to someone that's 35 years old. Um, it says a positive attitude works wonders. Allow yourself to express yourself positively. Only use wholesome words when speaking to others about yourself. Be conscious of any language that you use out of habit and be willing to release this to create more positive energy around you. Do this will bring more love to you. Exact words or actions will not be remembered. People tend to recall what you said or how you make them feel. Taking a moment to choose the words that are loving can have an amazing impact on others. Thinking of how you convey your message will profound a loving impact on other people. Treat conversation like an occasion to discover something original. To consider the other person's point of view and treat them with compassion. There may be many viewpoints or opportunities to state your case and impart your viewpoint. So it says here, um, be loving and caring. You know, one day people remember what you say and what you do. Um, just try and leave that impression. For 29, you can be dealing with someone that's 29 years old. Forgiveness. For uh, fire signs, be willing to forgive others and open the door for future growth. Love can be restored. Trust can be rebuilt. Moving back from bitterness back to joy to deserve that you deserve in your life granting forgiveness is a choice you make you may not feel like engaging with someone but you can forgive them without ever help talking to them and after forgiveness replaces anger depression anxiety and old pain with hope and compassion think of what you can forgive as the benefits will be immeasurable the process will increase in your inner strength and your and your self-esteem forgiveness can heal and help you move forward with a renewed sense of purpose replacing hurt with the love will free you to love more deeply so forgiving people, um, focusing on love will be 24. You can be dealing with someone that's younger than you, 24. Um, focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. It is easy to see the faults in other people. Think of the positive characteristics of people in your life. Remember that, um, this is air, that caused you to love them in the first place. Focusing on love will change and heal any negativity that is there. You are experiencing a rough patch in your relationship with someone that you share. Work towards the things, turn things around. How can you perceive a situation that has a lot to do with how you feel? Be good to people no matter what role they play in your life. When you approach relationships with a positive mindset, you reinforce the love in your life. Strive to be supportive and loving. Foster the good in others and the return will tenfold. So it says basically try to, uh, you're in some type of negative patch with an air sign, try to mend the fences. And the only thing that you really need real is love for water sign. You can be dealing with someone seven. That's very important. It's a karmic number. It's a God's number. Okay, you may be conditioned to dwell on issues. It is important to remember that true reality is love. 
Choose to take a deep breath and focus on what is true. Negativity will disappear when you confirm everything is okay when I choose love. There are many things you can do to shift into a more loving flow. Having a very healthy, encouraging conversation with yourself and others. Squashing inner negative dialogue and noticing positive aspects of people in your life. Be realistic about what is going to What's going on in your life? Yes, the real love is real, but there is sadness, depression, worry, and doubt, and anger. This card is about finding balance in your life. So challenging times are not overwhelming. You're able to remember that love is at the core of everything. So shift everything. Squash any bullshit. And then try to focus on balancing your life with this water sign. Remember the love that you have to create more love in the future. All right. Uh, I'm going to get one more tarot card on each sign, and I think we'll be good. Okay. Um, how to deal with the signs moving forward into July. Let's look. Let me see. Give me a second, y'all. Mm, hot. I'm done, y'all. Mm, Okay. What is energy of how Sagittarius should deal with Earth? How Sagittarius should deal with Earth this month, the end of July. Will of Fortune, something that stands still, some type of blessing. Um, it could be some type of bad news coming to you, but it, whatever it does, it causes an ending. Uh, somebody did some very fucked up things to you. Could be this Queen of Swords. She could be involved. Could be a very petty um, woman that's involved. She's a bitch. She's causing your downfall. She did a very fucked up thing to do, but um, she she if she's here, she's not going to have good luck with her. whatever she's trying to pull off. Something is going to be revealed about this person. The Moon. Could be another Pisces or a Capricorn. Someone's using black magic and they're going to be revealed. They've been trying to stop your progress from you going to a complete circle. Can, can I get a card on air for how Sagittarius should do with air? Now we're talking about air. A contract could be paperwork. Five of Cups can be acceptance. And Four of Wands can be like um, false starts. Seven of Wands can be protecting yourself. And the Queen of Pentacles can be like a gold digger. Someone thinks something didn't turn out financially well, reprioritizing and delayed gratification. Someone could be um, burnt out with a job that didn't turn out very well, or someone is a gold digger and they are running out of money. They are trying to reprioritize, but they know it's going to be done, it's going to be gone. Others of you who are dealing with an air sign, um, you guys are going to have to protect yourself with some type of paperwork. It could be dealing with the law. Um, Maybe it's stand for yourself. Some type of healing or a loss. Maybe it had to do with family. What is the five of cups and the four of wands? My car is everywhere over here. What is the five of cups and the four of wands? Uh -oh. Yeah, eight of swords and the eight. Whatever it is, you're going to be forgiven of it or someone's forgiven. It says. Let's see, what's the ace of wands? Some type of delay. Yeah, some type of altercation. I don't I, I see you putting distance between some type of situation and yourself, so I don't see any big issues. Someone's trying to cause issues in your life that's not working for them. Yeah, someone is upset. What should uh, Sagittarius do about any fire signs going forward? Six of swords, delays. I don't have delays. Hey man, decisions. Having strength with people of your own. Ah, deception. Um, you got a person here that is not your friend. Could be a Leo or a Pisces. Someone is causing some type of drama. Someone is interfering with your belief system. You're gonna have to be strong or caring and use your intellectual and uh strength or your intellectual and your physical side to discover an enemy in your midst. What is the seven of swords? It's a person masquerading as a friend. It could be definitely. Yeah, the queen of swords. There's a, yeah, this woman is like coming in. I don't know if she has all these elements, 
But there's a woman who's pretending to be your friend that is like hugging and loving on you and they don't really like your ass. What's the strength card? Someone is using their abilities to try to like one up you. Four of cups. Someone's dating. Yeah, I keep getting that. Like this woman keeps coming up. It's these two women. Someone is off path. And they're running out of money. Let's see. What is it? Is the what is the strength card? What is this? Uh, no, fuck that. What is this Queen of Swords and the Seven of Swords? What's up with this? It could be a moon in Aquarius. Some woman. What's up with this woman? The Emperor. Someone is just okay. So yo, yo man could have another bitch. That's just what it is. Yeah, it seems as if your your man's ex girlfriend comes back and starts some shit with you. She could be a Leo, cause she's upset. Hmm, interesting. What was I on? Water or air? I did earth and air. I think I was doing fire, right? Fire, yeah. You could, fire signs, you could have someone in your life that's starting drama with you because they fucking the same nigga you fucking. What's the strength card for, for Sagittarius? The three of wands. Someone's at a distance. Someone could be fucking someone at long distance. Or someone could be communicating with you long distance. Yeah, someone is talking to you. Page of swords, some type of drama or gossip. Yeah, you could be worried about an opportunity. From a, from a distance there's some childish bullshit going on someone's spying on you worried about someone's worried about a baby or an opportunity so whew. and then water Sagittarius how are we going to do with water this month um the five of pentacles someone is putting you out yeah something is not working competition Some someone likes you a lot but they're not going to compete you want to take the lower the some have to choose between two lovers. Could be this King of Cups and this King of uh this King of Cups and this King of Knight of Cups. Um, this motherfucker is gay. I don't know why he's making you choose. Could be a water sign, could be a cancer, could be a Capricorn. Somebody is gay as hell, or they're emotionally bitter. I get one man is gay and one man's emotionally bitter. One man don't keep his promises and one man likes to play vindictive games. We're dealing with two water signs, Sagittarius. Or he could just be one person. You had to choose between what leaving him out in the cold or chasing behind him. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you later. Bye.